honey. Take your eyes off that book now. It's rotting your poor and beautiful brain with all of its knowledge. Mom, I already told you, it's educational. I need to learn. I'm 17 now, becoming 18 in a month. It's important that I do well in school. Why do well in school when you have everything you could possibly need? Yeah, looks, money, fame. You've said this all to me before, Mom. Ori, you should be thankful I'm being nice to you. I could just... Mom, give it back! Not until you stop trying to learn. It's completely unnecessary. You're wasting your gorgeous looks inside, focusing on school and trying to get good grades. You're absolutely wasting your potential on social life. <gasps> Dad's home! Dad, oh, you're finally home. I'm so glad to see you. How was your trip overseas? Anything cool? You bet. I've brought you some beautiful clothes and some lovely makeup that'll make you even more beautiful. How can she get more beautiful if she's just as pretty as me? Thanks, Dad. <sighs> but what about other things? Something that might represent the culture of where you flew to? Or some cool information it might have? She's been obsessing over it since you left. <laughs> Tori, there's no need for you to study and learn. A pretty girl like you just needs to focus on finding a rich husband who can care for you. Just like I did. But I don't want to be like you. You both are rude, rich wannabes. I want to make my own life. Tori, you've been born into a rich family. Why do you want something as silly as that? I know so many people who only dream to be in your shoes right now. But I don't want that. I don't care. I, I, I hate you both. Magnolia. Hey! Tori, how are you? Not that great. Aw, how come? You wouldn't understand. Why wouldn't I understand, Tori? We're best friends. Because we live under, um, different circumstances. Wow, no need to sugarcoat it. You could just say, Magnolia, you're poor and I'm rich. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Is it your parents again? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry to hear your no-brain parents are upsetting you again. What did they say this time? That pretty girls have no need to study, to work, to, to try my best. And you're really going to listen to that? No. That's my girl. You know, as much as I'd love to be in that kind of situation, I know that's not you. Do you, girl? Thanks, Mag. That really helped. No problem. You should probably hang up before your rich parents find you talking to a poor girl. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, very funny. Well, good night then, Mag. Good night, Tori. Sleep well. <sighs> What am I going to do? I could always just tell them no. Wait, no, Tori, you tried that before and they punished you by taking your textbooks away. What kind of punishment is that? What if I tell them I want to be like my dad, a pilot? But wait, no, Tori, that'd be too much work. Uh, why do they have to be so difficult? Maybe I'll just go to bed and sleep on it. It might get better tomorrow. It did not get better. It got worse. Tori! Your dad and I have an announcement to make. What is it this time, Mom? Well, seeing as you refuse to listen to reason, and your mom and dad who have been so very nice towards you, we have decided to help you find someone suitable. I think my version of suitable and your version of suitable is very different, Dad and Mom. Oh, see, honey? She's been spending too much time with that... girl. Mag? Yes, your poor friend Magnolia. Honestly, you should learn a thing or two from her. 
She might be poor, but she still has better common sense than you. The girl has a decent fashion sense and just how much money means. Money means power. Do you remember my dear friend, Mr. David? The man you had lunch with last week? One of your many billionaire friends? No, sorry, they all seem to blend together. Very funny, Tori. Well, you better remember him, seeing as his son will be your new husband when you turn 18. What? You heard your dad. You'll be meeting his son once a week. Once a week? Are you deaf, child? Yes, once a week. So you get to know each other. But mom, dad, I don't want to marry someone. I'm only 17. That's exactly why you're waiting until you're 18. Dad, I want to choose who I marry, not just because the son is rich. Tori, watch your tone around your father. A good wife shouldn't be speaking to him like that. A good wife? A good wife? I'll show you what a good wife is like. That's it. No more school for you. You're going to a special school that teaches you manners and how to be a good wife. Manners? Yes. Look at you, Tori. You're more of a son than a daughter to me. I need a daughter. Someone I can share fashion tips with, give my makeup to, take to the salon. Yet you won't even do one of those things with me. Oh, jeez, Mom, I wonder why. Maybe it's because you're so overly controlling. You'll be meeting the sun tomorrow. I expect you to be on your best behavior, Tori. Or else. Or else what? That doesn't matter, Tori. What matters is you listen to us, honey. We just want the best for you. <sighs> yeah, the best for me. <sighs> but wait, you guys can't pull me out of school. I need my education. No, you don't. Not when you're marrying a billionaire. <sighs> honey, as much as I love you, and I hate admitting that our daughter is right, she is. She does need her education. Just so she can still be smart for her new husband. But the minute she is 18, she's out of school. I will pull you out of school if you misbehave. But I... I... I understand. Good. Now go get yourself some lunch for your parents, honey. The salad place down the road would be lovely. Yes, Mom. I'll call Mag and see if she can help me out with this. Tori? What's wrong? Why are you calling so late? My parents are marrying me off to some rich guy's son in a month and... I... I don't know what to do! Uh, okay, Tori, calm down. We can figure this out together! But how, Mag? What am I going to do? Run away? You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Mag! Not helping! No, I'm being serious. You have so much talent that you can use it to earn enough money to make yourself a living. Not to mention rich parents. Use that. Save enough money and run away to a place they'll never find you. <sighs> okay, what should I do then? Well, you can sing, right? Yeah, I guess. See? That's great! You could always record covers of certain songs online and you'd go viral. Everyone would love you, Tori. You really think so? Oh no, I know so. You're honestly a music goddess. What about my parents? They never let me. Oh. Uh, oh, school has a recording room with a microphone. You could always just record there. You know, this might actually work. What can I say? I'm a genius at heart. Okay, now how to use your parents? I'm pretty sure Mama gave me a good allowance every week if I told her I was going shopping with some friends. That might work, but won't you have to come home with something? Would your mom take your allowance away if you only bought one thing and didn't use the rest? I doubt it. Then that's where we start. You can do it, Tori. You'll get away from your rich and controlling parents. Alright, see you tomorrow, Mag. Yeah, tomorrow, where we can unleash this plan of ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Let's hope this plan works. ready for your date with Kenji. His name is Kenji? Yes. Yes, it is. 
Wow, that's such a silly and pathetic name. Okay, I have a deal for you and Dad. You're in no position to make deals, Tori. Oh, but I think you'll like it. Oh, just hear the girl out, love. Huh. All right. Fine. Speak, child. I'll date and marry this guy and pretend everything is fine. As long as you let me sing. I already hate it. And if you give me an allowance to go shopping. But you never want to go shopping. Yes, but I need to learn to be a better wife. Someone who needs to be cared for and spoiled by her rich husband. Am I right, Mom? Of course! I'm glad you agree. And a weekly allowance of $500. One thousand! Even better! Tori, where did this sudden interest come from? I've mm, had time to think about it. All right. Ah, that must be David, Tina, and Kenji. I'll go grab the door. Tori, get dressed into something nice, please. Of course, Mother. Where's your daughter, Maxwell? Oh, uh, she's just getting ready so she looks her best meeting her future husband for the first time. That's good to hear. We understand just how important this marriage is to both of our families. What's her name again? Her name is Tori Kenji. Yeah, no. That's such a plain name. She'll be needing to change it if she gets married to me. I deeply apologize for taking so long. I just wanted to look the best for my future husband. Oh dear. You look beautiful. It's lovely to meet you, Kenji. <sighs> Likewise. Well, shall we sit down while we let the two lovebirds get to know each other? Oh, that sounds like a fabulous idea. So, Kenji, just out of curiosity, how old are you? Why does it matter? Well, seeing as we are going to be spending our entire lives with each other, we should get to know each other. <sighs> I'm 21. 21? He's three years older than me! I think I'm going to throw up. I'm... I'm 17. Hmm... So that's why we're waiting to get married? Oh, is this normal for you? Well, not for me, but for my family, yes. Oh boy, this is going to be a long month. The next three months was an absolute nightmare. Faking being a diva, faking to like this boy, Tenji. But it'll all be worth it. I've gained quite a following on both TikTok and YouTube through my singing. People love what I do and say my voice is amazing. <laughs> I've managed to save enough to move away and buy a small house. I'm so excited to move away and live out my dreams. I'm just sad I'll be leaving Mag behind. <sighs> but in the end, I'll do anything to avoid marrying this Kenji guy. He's such a pain and a half. Always bragging about himself and his riches and his hair. You should be happy you're marrying a husband who looks good. Not every man cares about his looks and his hair. He creeps me out, but yeah, I plan on running away tonight. I purchase a plane ticket under my parents' name and flee. Anyways, that's enough for tonight. I'll update you all tomorrow. By the time I release this blog, I'll be free. Catch you later, Tori Lori fans. It's almost time. Tori, we need to go out together to celebrate your escape tomorrow. We can't celebrate yet. What if it fails, Mag? It won't. We've been planning for far too long to fail. This plan is foolproof. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Your plan is tonight at 3 a.m., right? Mm-hmm. Then we have until 10 to party and say our goodbyes to each other. We need to celebrate your escape and your 18th birthday. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot that was coming up. People tend to forget when important things come up. Now, come on, let's go! <laughs> alright, alright, calm down, Mag, I'm coming! <laughs> Happy birthday, Tori! Oh, Mag, you're too sweet! Thank you so much! Oh, psh, it's nothing! I'd happily do it for my best friend. I just can't believe you're leaving. I'm going to miss you, Tori. <sighs> I'm going to miss you too, Mag, but hey, in the end, it's probably for the best. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, how about I come and visit you every now and then? I like that idea! Good luck, Tori. 
You two, you must keep messaging me, okay? I won't forgive you if you don't! Haha, <laughs> very funny. Thank you. Thank you for convincing me to run away, Magnolia. No problem, Tori. You needed it. I couldn't have my best friend be married to some jerk before she even experienced her own love towards someone else. Mm-hmm. Well, that's me. I'll see you around, Mag. See you soon, Tori. I look forward to watching your blog. Good luck, Tori. I hope I never have to hear anything from you about your parents again. <sighs> As expected, my parents don't even care I'm out this late. They never really cared about me. I was just some stupid money ploy. Mom! Sweetie, where are you? It's almost 3 a.m. Your father and I are beginning to grow worried. Especially since you have your wedding in two days. You need your sleep. I'm... I'm not coming home, Mom. Ever. What? What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm leaving, Mom. I'm moving overseas. Far away from you and Dad. But wait! Honey, the think... Think this through! <laughs> you don't want to leave? You'll be leaving your life behind! Your rich lifestyle! If you even ever tried to pay any sort of attention to me, Mom, you know that I hated that lifestyle! I hated the person you wanted me to become, and I was never going to let myself become a spoiled brat or wife, unlike you. Tori, come home this instant. You're going to make us suffer a major financial loss. <laughs> it was always about money. Always. Never about me. Never about what I wanted. All passengers leaving to Brookvale, please board the plane. This is the final boarding call for passengers flying to Brookvale. I have to go. Please, Tori! Don't leave! Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Have fun explaining to Mr. David and Kenji why I'm leaving him at the altar in two days. Why, Tori! A new life. I can't wait. Welcome to my new house, everyone! Look how small and cute it is! No more massive halls, no more butlers, no more bossy parents. Just me, myself, and I in our own space. <gasps> Gotta end the vlog! See you all later, Tori Lories! Tori! You made it! <laughs> yeah, I did, didn't I? Oh, I'm so happy for you! How are you, Mag? Oh, I'm good. Have you met anyone yet, Tori? <gasps> Magnolia! <laughs> sorry, sorry I had to. Oh, I miss you, bestie. I miss you too, Mag. It's late here. Call me back when you find someone to date! <laughs> Will do. Have a good sleep, Mag. Bye! <sighs> I can do this! This will be a good start! A fresh start! How great is that, Tori? Ouch! Hey, watch where you're... going. I'm so sorry, miss. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, psh, psh, I'm fine. That's good to hear. Uh, sorry, what might your name be? Tori, my name is Tori. Well, it's nice to meet you, Tori. Are you new around here? You could say that. Well, welcome to the neighborhood. I hope to see you around. Yeah, you too. Maybe... Maybe this will be even better than I thought it would be.